Hey guys, let's get into how you log into my Unisa so that you can find your assignments as well as your modules. Okay, so first thing first, you go to this page, you go type in my Unisa and choose my Unisa admin. Okay, choose my Unisa admin. So you type in on your Google my Unisa admin men okay i tried to make this as slowly so that i can be able to also record at the same time so bear with me you type in my unisa and it takes you directly to this dashboard page right but um okay so you have to choose my unisa the one on top try to go to admin okay get to admin so my unisa and it will direct you to the my unisa website which is this page and once you land on this page please go to log into my admin okay and you have to put in your password and once you've put in your password it will take you directly to this page okay you put in your password it will take you to this page and on this page go to my admin again so please try to choose my admin because if you go to my modules it might take you somewhere else but once you've 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 reached my admin and then you press on my admin and then you come across this page on this page only then you can go to my modules okay on this page you can go to my modules okay so you're you onto your my admin page and then on this page, you go to my module. So once you click on my module, it will take you to this page. And these are all your modules. Okay. For example, that's my PYC4808. That's my year module. So you can see this is a year module. It's PYC4808. And once you are here, you can click on your year module. Double click on that. But this is how the page looks like from the bottom down so it's dashboard so you can click on those um those three lines on top on your top left Th click on that and then it will land you to my dashboard but this is where you will find your modules okay and then if you're looking for resources your um, everything uh, regarding your module you click double click on your module for example these are all my module overview. Then in order for me to have an access of each module, I'll have to double click on that module. Okay. So you double click on that module. You double click on PYC4808. Mm -mm. So it's scrolling down and down because I did a screen record. So you'll have to um, excuse me, but I wanted to be as informative as I can be so that it's easy for you to find your resources. But do not panic. OK, once you just make sure that you also find out when are the due dates of your module. And so once you've you've clicked on this page you will obviously double click on your modules and then it will take you directly to more information such as um your assignments what is due as well as also the discussions okay also just make sure that you have enough time to do your assignments and if they are year modules or if they are semesterly okay so this is just showing you up and down these are all my modules that i'm doing for this year um so i've made this a slow slide so that i'm able to show you guys through so please bear with me and be patient okay so i've clicked on to my module double clicked
so i've double clicked this is where it takes me that's my pyc for 808 so here this is where it welcomes you for that specific module so these are the announcement of that module and then as it goes down you will click on show more and this is where people get it wrong they don't click on that show more to see the overview of the details of this module so these are the additional resources so you click on that additional resources if you want to see what could they have they probably have like maybe extra um, study material for you so click on that oh and uh, for those who wants to find their material they have to click on that additional and also click on your assignments and that's where you'll get you'll get an access to your assignment so that you can start doing your assignment and also you'll be able to submit your assignments on this exact page so you click double click on your assignment and it will give you an instruction on what to do for your assignments just make sure that you have all the necessary um study material like in in a sense of prescribed book you know if you don't have go to my other youtube that i spoke about telegram okay on telegram you'll have an access to um all the assignments you'll have an access um to to prescribe book which is a pdf so you, you can print out yourself i want you guys to forget about uh the study material that will be delivered or courier to you because it's been a couple of years in unisa i haven't received a study material so i don't even inquire i don't even call them for the past two years actually ever since COVID started we haven't received well i haven't received i don't know other people i'm kind of that one person that you know what I improvise so I use whatever that I have so that's my assignment one the quiz and everything so keep scrolling down so that you can see that you have everything basically okay I wish you guys all the best please kindly don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment down below if there are more information that you need this was this video was basically based on one of the comments and I also promised that I'll be doing a video and i'm about to post this video and i wish you guys all the best and also please don't forget to add your profile picture as you can see that i have my profile picture this will make it easy for you when you write your exams uh, because we call this a model a model um app and even though it's under my unisa so you'll be confused this is what actually it is this is where you'll also be finding you as your exams as well and your pictures will be required so please take yourself a picture and upload it now so that when the exam time comes you are already set you do not have to be struggling on the last minute and please check also on your recommended and your prescribed book so that you are all safe and you are ready to go as you can see that's the prescribed book and the material that i also saw as i scroll up and down on my go to my dashboard and then check there just you know play around the system play around the system also make sure that you are logged in your phone you are logged in or on your computer you are logged in in terms of google on your google account make sure it's gonna be easy for you also remember your password as well as your student number guys have a lovely night and i will see you guys on my next video